So you all have been asking me a lot about what kind of books Max and Mackenzie like to read. And so I decided I would read you the book that we read the most at home. And they ask us to read this book all the time. It's called The Book With No Pictures. They love when we read this, and I think you'll know why. But I want you to right now think about something um, in your head using your metacognition. What you wonder, what you're thinking. If this is a book with no pictures, then what is this book full of? So take a second to think about that and um, let me know what you think when we're done reading this book. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious. Except, here is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say. No matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means, even if the words say, Blork! Wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Blurf. Wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read, and I have to say every word the book says? Uh-oh. So what are you thinking now? What do you think this book is going to be full of? There are no pictures. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth and my monkey voice. That's not true. I am not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. That actually sounds kind of gross. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No? And now, it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a... Glug, 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 my face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off of the rug. What? Excuse my singing. This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No, there are more pages. I have to read the rest. My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt. Really? And also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? Maybe that's why they like it so much. And this kid is the smartest kid, too, because this kid chose this book, even though it had no pictures. Because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. And make silly sounds like... Oh, no. Oh, no. Here it comes. Oh no. Glur ga woo ga ma goo fa do. Ay, ay, broog, broog, broog. Oof, eef, blaggity, blaggity, glibbity, globbity, globbity, glibbity. Beep boop, beep boop, beep. Ba donkey face. Oh my goodness. Please don't ever. Make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Please, because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk. I didn't want to say that. 
Well, I actually really like to read that book, so if you want me to read it again, I absolutely will, because you know how much I love silly books. Well, I hope you enjoy that as much as Maxim McKenzie, and I will see you next time. Bye, you guys.